want to introduce you guys to a new company I hooked up with, Hitlist Feeders, made in America, made in Texas, and owned by veterans. And they just shipped me this feeder. I just got it out. I'm going to put it out as a new protein feeder, 650 pounds, so I don't have to fill it up a lot. It's pretty amazing how it shipped, three pieces. They have it pretty much put together for me. Everything else is real simple. I've got one tool, a wrench to tighten some bolts, and I'm going to have it up and full of feed here shortly. But let's go through it so you guys see what it's like. Uh, like I said, it's a great company right here out of Texas, and I love when veterans are making a business that works for them, and I'm pretty proud to be part of it. So we're going to start going over. Come over here, and we'll take a look inside. So you've got enough room to put protein out that's probably going to last most of the time that they're going to need protein. You might want to cut it off during hunting season. You've got a little glass window in the front to tell you that. And you've got four different chutes or trays that go out. They've got a really cool little slide feature that you can open it up and put more or less protein out depending on how much you want to feed. So guys, let's look at the lid. You've got some heavy duty latches here. So here in Texas, you've got a lot of coons, raccoons. You've got a lot of other things that try and get into your protein. Protein's expensive. Simple as that, lock down. That thing becomes varmint proof. And if you really have a clever one, you've got a pinhole. So if you need to put that down and put a pin on it, it's there. I love the features on it. This is a heavy duty. This is your, your chamber that your leg's gonna go in. You simply tighten these down. That thing's sturdy, steady. That's heavy duty. That's not a thin piece that's gonna bend when it's full of protein or big hogs trying to rub on it. Or where I live, there's odd ad in this draw. So that's kind of an exciting thing for me is they love protein. But we're gonna stand it up, show you some of the other features on it. Uh, a lot of times we'll buy ourselves or have very little help. That's what's pretty cool about this. It doesn't take a lot of people or manpower to get it stood up. Like I said, it came in three pieces on a pallet. Right in my driveway, I threw it in my buggy and drove it down here. I'll have it set up feeding protein here shortly. This square tubing, heavy duty, you've got these bolts. So if your feeder is unlevel, you can tighten these and get it tight enough where it stays level. And then we're gonna go down and stake this to the ground. That way it ensures nothing's gonna tip it over. Cause when they start eating protein, they get a little aggressive. So I call these the, the trays, the feed trays. What's cool is they've got two wing nuts. So I can adjust the, the flow of my protein more or less depending on how much they're eating. And then it's got holes, drainage holes all across the bottom. And another feature I like, is you see there's bolts all the way around this tray. A lot of times over the years, over the seasons, that feed sits in here and it's gonna rot and rust this. So it's easy, easy to replace the feed tray if you need to. I don't anticipate that for a while, but the feature that I don't have to start all over, I can just replace the feed tray is a huge bonus. Uh, what kind of feed am I gonna put in it? So some of you guys know I worked with High Pro Feeds last year and we developed a deer feed, a new wildlife feed for exotics, whitetail deer. We did it out at a high end whitetail ranch. I'm gonna use Trophy Pro Breeder. Trophy Pro Breeder is their highest level deer feed. Uh, the last few years here in Texas, it's been droughty. It's green now, we've got grass, but I wanna help them catch up. So they've got three different lines, check them out. I'm gonna put this out and see if my deer do a little bit better this year. So I've got my hit list feeder up. We went through everything. Now it's for my strategy. I've got this huge draw you see right now in the drone footage. It's got wild oddad in it. It's got a lot of deer, it's got pigs. So this is a place where they come to water. They're gonna find the protein. I've got a little salt out as well. So that's my strategy. So hit list feeders, great features. I went through them all for you today. Made in Texas. Veteran owned.